Welcome back everybody. Uh, in the last video I fished um, the Oni 3 and said I was kind of doing a small rod comparison or small stream rod comparison. So one of the other uh, rods that I mentioned I was going to fish, the next one is the Nissan Fujiru 330 in the 5.5 in the five five Flex. Not as well known most likely uh, to, compared to the Oni of course. A little bit heavier, 2.6 ounces. I'm, I'm assuming a lot of that has to do with the wood grip instead of that uh, high density foam. A very, very good rod. Um, I know some well known uh, Tenkara fishermen that actually prefer it to the Oni. So we're going to fish it. I'll give you my uh, overall impressions of course. Um, and I already know uh, that I'm going to like it, but I just recently fished the Oni 3, so uh, I might be able to provide some compare and contrast between uh, the Oni 3 and this Nissan Fujiru. So it's the same creek that I fished the Oni on. I've got the same line and actually the same fly that I had uh, when I finished the video with the Oni 3. It's a small bead head right now, but hopefully as I get up higher upstream, I'll keep switching back and forth with an unweighted Kabari as well. The breeze is picking up a little bit, um, but hopefully it holds out. Rainbows primarily is what I've been catching so far in this stream. Uh, also some brookies. Okay, so I'm uh, going to start fishing with the Fujiru right in the same hole here where I stopped fishing the Oni 3. Uh, again, I have the same level line, 3.0, 11 feet. A little hard to see in the shade. Um, the first thing you notice when you pick up this rod is how pretty the color is. It's kind of this maroon sparkly color down in the handle and then uh, kind of unsanded blank with the red accents. But the first thing you notice actually, or uh, even before the color, is probably the grip. It's a Japanese cypress grips. Um, they're not very long but it fits my hand, it, it fills it out and I just love the feeling of it, um, actually more than the foam. Um, on the, the Oni 3, but this is the 5.5, 330 uh, length. Um, and let's uh, throw the same small beat head and see if we can catch a fish. See if what uh, if we notice any difference right off the bat. It's a small beat head, maybe a 16 if I remember right. So nothing, not a lot of weight. Even these softer full flex rods can can handle it just fine. I would mentioned in the introduction, I think, or maybe it was the ending to the Oni um, video, but it's right at 11, I believe, penny rating. So just one penny off or so from the from the Oni three. So very similar specs and length and penny rating. You know, every rod has its own character. Right off the bat with just the, the fish strikes and, and touch and bottom, first thing you notice is how it, the wood handle transmits, I think, the, uh, the feeling, a little more sensitivity than the foam. Even though the foam is, is sensitive, it's hard, it's not spongy, obviously. But I just seem to feel it more with um, the wood grip than I do with the foam grip. And even though, again, I said, mentioned the Oni rod is uh, not the lightest rod for its size, although it's you know only 2.1 ounces, this rod is, this Fujiru is a little bit heavier than that. But again, they're so well balanced that you wouldn't, you know, really feel the difference. I think if I, you know, hold one in each hand, you can kind of feel the feel the the mass difference in the mass. But as far as fishing goes, neither one is uh, you're ever going to get tired of fishing from the weight of it. You may get tired of catching fish. <laughs> but that's not possible, is it? There we go. There's a little rainbow. Just, I just love looking up at the up at this rod, the, the flex of it. Wish I could. Oh, I get downstream of me as I missed it. 
it certainly I think it flexes more a little more full full flex or you know a little softer in overall perhaps than the Oni um, but it's just a beautiful arc to it I'm gonna hold this rainbow up just very colorful spots look at that one That's pretty, one of the prettier rainbows I've caught today. Chunky. Since I had just got done fishing the Oni, um, I did feel that little bit of difference. It seems like this bends maybe a little bit further, a little softer perhaps, but uh, it's very, very close. Hard to, hard to tell that much of a difference. These Fujiru rods in the 5.5 are just so smooth. Not tip flex, obviously, at a 5.5, and I actually really enjoy it. It feels great. Can protect, obviously, light tip it. But uh, just a joy to fish, as is the Oni. There we go. Go over the edge. Yeah, you did. I didn't want to put too much pressure on him. Had to be one over there. There we go, little guy. I put the unweighted fly back on for this do these little shallow spots. Losing my balance on these slippery rocks. I didn't even see the take or feel the take on that one until I lifted up to cast. I couldn't see my line. And it was drifting towards me. Nice rainbow. colors didn't know if I was gonna get anything out of that fast current I have a unweighted fly on still but it worked there was one I saw it rise Caught on a twig down there. There we go. There's one. Oh. 
the line. There you go. Oh, Brookie. I haven't been catching too many of those. Pretty, look at that. Try some of these little shallow channels along the edge. Seems like I've been catching brookies in this shallow stuff more. There we go. Oh, there's a rainbow. See this one? There's some fish. Right along the edge there in that ankle deep water. Let's check right on the other side of this bigger rock here. Looks like a prime holding spot. There he is, right in front of it. Oh, a nice rainbow. There we go. Right in the snout. All right. Ooh, that looks like an interesting little where that uh, waterfall is there. Maybe just to the left of it. Could be something. Oh, there's one. I saw him drift up. That's a nicer one. Look at that rod bend. Beautiful flex. Oh, stay out of those branches in the tree there. Oh, oh, he's going down. Get him into some softer water here. Looks like a decent rainbow. Oh yeah. Colorful. Get a look at that one. Oh, came off. Took, took my fly, it bounced out of the water, and it was enough to break it off. Darn it! That's a pretty rainbow too. Lots of color. I only got one more of those flies left. I tied three last night, and I've lost two now. All right, so I changed my fly, put on a stiff hackle, kind of a gray yarn. Can't remember the name of it, and a grizzly stiff hackle and a little red uh, hot spot head. There he is. Yeah, little fella. <laughs> little rainbow. You can see how that fly gets darker in the once it's wet nice contrast with the uh, hackle which is always a good thing there he is saw it tighten up oh, it's stuck between these rocks here Brookie, oh, yep, oh, Brookie. There he is. <laughs> About the third or fourth strike if it was the same fish. In that tiny little spot, little brookie. Oh, come on. That's oh, tangled around them a little bit. There we go. the left side first here before I go in. 
There he is. Another little brookie. So it definitely seemed to be catching more brookies than we were down below with the Oni. There he is, saw um, him surface right by that rock to grab it as it was drifting by. The rainbow. That's a good spot. Try the back part of it first. There he is. Good rookie, it looks like. I saw red, anyways. Maybe it's a rainbow. A lot of color. No, oh, it's a nice rookie. Come here. Had to look at you, one of the nicest rookies of the day. How pretty is that? Now we'll try up in the front half of that little uh, spot. That was the back half. There he is, little one, little rainbow. Well, it's time for me to change rods. But I uh, just once again wanted to say how much I really enjoy the Air Stage um, Fujiru 5.5, and this again is the 3.30. I'd be hard pressed to pick a, my favorite between this one and the Oni from the previous video. I guess if I take the emotion out of it or the history out of it with the Oni, I actually enjoy fishing the Fujiru a bit more. Uh, I like the handle better. Um, it's a little bit softer, maybe more full flex. GoPro stopped recording. <laughs>